Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com and today I'm doing another video about the Copino and as we said in the previous video, the Copino is a plug-in board and that's the middle one here that plugs in on top of a Raspberry Pi it has a Arduino compatible Atmel 20, 1284 on board it accepts Arduino shields on top of the Copino and it communicates to the Raspberry Pi through the GPIO header and what makes the Copino unique is that you can program it through a web browser you not only can program it through a web browser but you can monitor the data coming from sensors and we have a, DS, a um, DHT22 on top here which is reporting um, temperature and humidity to the Atmel 1284 which is then sending that information to the Arduino through the GPIO header not through USB or any other method and then we have it displaying on our large TV through HDMI and we have a chart on here that's automatically updating as to the current sensor data so if I reach over here and put my hands over the temperature sensor you'll be able to see a change in the chart data up here you'll see a 4930 which is humidity and it's jumping 73 is the temperature and 75 is the heat index and you'll see a spike in that green line there which is the humidity and this is all being displayed from the onboard web server that is in, on, running on the Raspberry Pi you'll see the IP address up there now it's all well and good if you can do that from the Raspberry Pi and we have a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse working off the little USB wireless dongle there including the wireless um, the Wi-Fi USB I've got HDMI and power 5 volts so it's all well and good if you can do this from the Raspberry Pi itself but what's really cool is because it's all being done through a web browser we're getting the same thing from a remote laptop this laptop happens to be in the same room working off the same router but if you set up your port address translation on your router properly you can access your Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world you can monitor your sensors and as we mentioned in a previous video you can also go in and edit your sketch and that's the pictorial layout and here's the actual sketch that's running on the Copino so I can make changes I can compile them and run them and they will automatically be updated on the remote Raspberry Pi Copino board so the Raspberry Pi is accepting the commands through Apache and then it's sending those commands to the Copino board which is the Atmel 1284 compatible Arduino board so you can have this anywhere in the world and have the ability to change your programming on the fly to monitor the sensors send control signals tell the Arduino to turn on lights open doors turn on pumps have it do it automatically based on local sensor input and just monitor the results of doors and lights being turned on and off or send them control signals manually 
from anywhere in the world that has an internet connection and you don't have to be in physical contact with the device so you build your shield with all your sensors and all your activators stick it on there and then once you go away as long as internet access and power is kept to this device you have the complete ability to program it manage it monitor it whatever you need to do from any location in the world that has an internet connection this is where the power of the Capino really comes into play we will be doing a lot more with this we're going to be putting this on one of our robots so that we can retrieve telemetry data from the robot and send the robot commands overriding its autonomous running sequences that we will be building in but right now I just wanted to show you what a remote weather station could look like we have a barometric pressure sensor we're adding to this we have ordered a lightning sensor and a radiation sensor that will be running on the 1284 as well and all that data will show up here on the graph as well as the raw data line and we'll have some a legend on here explaining what each one of those lines does so thank you for watching and hopefully you've got a little better understanding of the power of the Copino and what makes it different than any other Arduino connected uh, Raspberry Pi connected Arduino solution out there can do. Um, this is special, folks. And you can find out more about it at copino.cc. C O P I I N O.cc. Thank you. And this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com.